Boris Johnson has been slammed for undermining Britain by not speaking out against football racism. Beth Rigby pressed Boris Johnson on his track record on racism after the Prime Minister delivered a major speech on levelling up the UK. Sky News political editor argued that the Prime Minister had stopped division with his remarks on footballers taking the knee against racist abuse. Ms Rigby also blasted previous comments by the Prime Minister likening Muslim women in head coverings to letterboxes and bank robbers. Ms Rigby asked the Prime Minister, You talked in your speech about a moral duty to unite and level up our country. But over the past month, you and your ministers have stopped division of footballers taking the knee, saying it was gesture politics. Saying it was fans' choice to boo the team and going back there is further evidence of this divisive politics and language from you. Be it describing Muslim women in veils as letterboxes or bank robbers or indeed Africans people as pickaninnies with watermelon smiles. For many people, your own record personally undermines your image as a unifying prime minister, she added. Boris Johnson responded. I think racism has no place in our society and I think the England team represented the very best of us and our country. And I think the overwhelming support. The outpouring of love for the England team after the match on Sunday showed this country at its best and at its most united. I think what we want to do is take practical steps to prevent racism in all its forms. Mr Johnson announced at Prime Minister's questions on Wednesday that those found posting racial abuse online would be banned from football matches. He told MPs, I repeat that I utterly condemn and abhor the racist outpourings that we saw on Sunday. What we're doing today is taking practical steps to ensure that the football banning order regime is changed, so that if you are guilty of racist abuse online of footballers, then you will not be going to the match. No ifs, no buts, no exemptions and no excuses. The Prime Minister's clash with Beth Rigby came following a major speech setting out the government's roadmap for delivering the Conservatives' levelling up agenda. Speaking at UK Battery Industrialisation Centre in Coventry, Mr Johnson levelling up some regions of the UK would not other would lose out. Dot. He said, let's be clear about the philosophical difference between this project, levelling up and levelling down. We don't want to decapitate the tall poppies, we don't think that you can make the poor parts of the country richer by making the rich parts of the country poorer. You can't hope to stimulate growth around the country by actually constraining companies from developing.